It's a big day at Palmyra Dairy Farm. Everyone is cleaning up, even the cows, getting ready for a special visitor from the east. Mr. Katsumi Ito has traveled from Hokkaido, Japan to this Hagerstown farm in search of world-class dairy cows. He won't be buying the cows, but he might buy their genetics in the form of frozen embryos. We are looking for uh, Eddie, Jeans, Hossein. Maryland's cow herds offer fine offspring. Their genetic material, known as elite genes, are valued throughout the world. This fourth generation dairy farm is run by the Shanks and Creeks. First cousins Michael Creek and Ryan Shank, both with four year degrees, are skilled dairymen and entrepreneurs. I've messed with cows that have sold for a million dollars. And now I've handled them, pulled calves out of them, milked them from the first milk into the last milk. We have uh, exported embryos to nine different countries, anywhere from South Africa to Japan, Germany, South America, Australia, New Zealand. The cousins face two big questions today. Will Mr. Ito buy Palmyra's elite genes? And will this man be able to flush embryos from Palmyra's herd of Ayrshire's and Holsteins, both popular dairy breeds? Exactly seven days ago, Dr. John Heiser dropped by for an AI call. That's farm speak for artificial insemination. Today, he's seeing if it worked. Spoiler alert, his pregnancy test is a bit graphic. She'd be pregnant. These ladies now bear microscopic embryos. It's up to the long arm of the vet to flush those new embryos so they can be frozen and implanted around the nation or around the world. It's me. We're actually going to place actually a Foley catheter. It's much like a urinary catheter you get at the hospital, if you go to the hospital, into a particular place in the uterus where we can maintain it there. And we're going to actually run fluid into the uterus and run it back out so it's like flushing the uterus. The embryos are now in the uterus, and so we've run the fluid in, and they're very microscopic and very small, so they'll come out. Meanwhile, Dr. Heiser has set up his microscope across from the barn to filter the flushed fluid in search of embryos, genetic gold for the Shank and Creek families. Like so many Maryland farmers, they've learned to diversify to develop an alternate income stream. Michael Creek has ventured into cheese making circles. This is our cheese room, our farm office. With his degree from Cornell and help from mom, Michael launched Palmyra Cheeses, now sold to restaurants and gourmet markets. We did farmers markets mainly for advertisement and publicity. Our best seller in retail block size, and that's our Chesapeake Bay cheddar. We tell everybody that you can put Old Bay and bubble gum and sell it in Maryland. It's all part of a family effort to build the Palmyra brand, be it through cheese, showing cattle, and selling embryos stored here in liquid nitrogen. All coded, so that's the bull's identification number as far as what studies from. First cousins Michael, Ryan, Mark, Evan, and Aaron learned the dairy business from their parents Ralph Shank and his sister Mary Creek. This is a brush for the cows. It uh, It's something that they really enjoy. It's um, it's part of cow comfort, and it'll go up around their heads and over their backs and down across their sides, and it'll rub around their bottom, and sometimes they line up and wait to get to it. Mary is dairy royalty of sorts, named 2012 Dairy Woman of the Year at the World Dairy Expo in Wisconsin. Other than when I got married and the birth of my, my four children, this comes right in there as, as one of the top things that has ever happened to me. Back at the barnyard, Dr. Heiser reports on the flush. I think we got nine or what we consider good, and I think we'll get five that we can export to a foreign country for the owner, which makes it a payday for everybody. Everybody's happy. Good flush. The ones that he's going to freeze today, hopefully, are about a thousand bucks a piece. The Holstein, some of them can get up to 15, 1800. And if you think all the romance is gone from the family farm cow, the doc reminds us it's not all about dollars and embryos. I still have a, a few farmers that'll just flush what, uh, for lack of a better term, their favorite cow. Uh, because she's been around a long time, she's been an easy keeper, she milks good, and, and she has huffers, and they like her. 
As for Mr. Ito, Ryan tells us he did buy six embryos. A little bit more of Maryland to populate the world. At least the dairy world. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. To learn more about our show and watch full episodes, check out mpt.org farm or just click the link in the description.